In the past, if you installed a version of Microsoft SQL Server, you got the option to install SQL Server Management Studio, the tool used to manage the product. For the last few years, SQL Server Management Studio has been released in a manner independent of a SQL Server installation. Whilst this has allowed the development of SQL Server Management Studio to proceed independently of major SQL Server releases, it sometimes leaves people a bit confused as to how to install the tool that manages their SQL deployment. In this Windows 11 quick tip, I'll show you how to do that with a minimum of fuss. The way we're going to do this is use Winget. Winget is the command line package manager for Windows 11 computers, similar to a command line package manager on Linux. Winget is the simplest way of obtaining and updating software that runs on the Windows platform. It allows you to install SQL Server Management Studio with a single elevated command prompt command. To get Winget working, we start by opening the Microsoft Store and making sure everything is up to date. We need to do this because Winget won't work properly unless you have the most recent version of the app installer. Once that's done, Open an admin terminal by right clicking on Start and choosing Terminal Admin. Click through the UAC prompt. I'm showing an admin terminal because I haven't configured sudo on this Windows 11 computer yet. Now we're at an elevated command prompt. We can search for SQL related winget packages by running the command winget search SQL. As this is the first time we've run Winget on this computer, we are asked to agree to an EULA. Once we do that, we get a list of SQL related Winget packages. There are a bunch here, including not only the developer and express editions of SQL Server, but also MySQL and Postgres. What we are looking for is the package name of SQL Server Management Studio, which I've highlighted here so we can use it in the next command. To install SQL Server Management Studio, you just need to run the command win get install Microsoft.SQL Server Management Studio and press enter. That's it. Win get goes off, retrieves the latest binary files and runs the installation routine. You can upgrade an installed win get package at any time using the win get upgrade command. Now that SQL Server Management Studio is installed, we can find and run it from the Start menu. In this instance, I've installed a local copy of SQL Server Express. But you can use SQL Server Management Studio to connect to any Microsoft SQL Server instance, whether it is running on Windows 11, Windows Server, Linux, or in Azure. And that's how you use Winget to install SQL Server Management Studio on Windows 11.